problem with these uh, low clearance BMWs. You'll park on a parking block and you'll back up and you'll end up having this. The, burp and the, the bumper has ripped off from its inset inside and for me to fix this I would have to open this, pull it out and bring it back to its inset. So, so before we can access any screws to pull out the bumper we would have to remove some grills from it and basically what you're looking for is these rivets that can be pulled out. Um, now what I'm using to do that is uh, a screwdriver to pry open the middle screw and a little pry bar, nylon pry bar to pull the screw. So let's see how we can do this. I've done the other side but I'm gonna tape this to just to show it to you how it's done. First you're gonna reach over here and try to pull this a little bit and then when that happens I I'll just put this pry and pull it out and there they come. Usually it's not that easy but sometimes you never know. Depending on the condition of the car here we try it. I'm gonna try that one again. Bear with me here. Alright, slip it out and this and there. So what we're trying to do is get this out. The point is to access this Torx screw which is holding the bumper to the body. This is a Torx 50 by the way and if you don't have it in your tool set go get one. Maybe I'm not a professional. It's kind of my hobby so if I make any mistakes I would like to hear some comments. Any positive criticism is always welcome. And uh, what I like about these swivel ratchets are that you can do all this easily. Wow, that's a big one. Now I have uh, taken the screw from the other side too, and I'm going to see if I can pull this bumper and if it wiggles and moves and if it does then we'll see what else is there to to work with. Uh, looks like it's going So I guess I will have to pull it out. I wonder if I need to take out the whole thing and just get by. So while I was pulling the bumper out, I felt some snags, so it looks like these are the screws under the wheel, front wheel well that need to be taken off to release the bumper, I suppose. So let's go ahead and do those. So apparently, that was causing the hold, and I screw it, and it looks like the bumper will just come right off. Now since my problem is on the right side, the passenger side, I'm going to evaluate some damage here. I don't have to open the whole bumper, but uh, I think you get the idea. If you need to open the whole bumper, you go, you're going to open the screws in the wheel, wheel well. Looks like the bottom screws here for me are already broken. And uh, you can see those. That's what I meant. This is the part which was, which had the bumper pulled out of and it was hanging. So I need to guide it back, put it back on it, and make it straight. But before I do that, I'm going to look at a couple of things that I can fix inside the bumper. And uh, let's see. So basically this piece which um, holds this fog lamp had come off in the process when the whole thing broke loose. Um, looked at the other side, it's pretty straightforward. Luckily nothing was broken, all the pieces were there, everything was uh, pretty much snapped on and there was a little hole, it snugged, so it's, it's good to go. Now at this point the idea is to take this guide and bring it, if you can see it, let's see, you know, stuff I showed you earlier, right there. That's where we need to guide it on, so I'm going to put the camera on the other side so you can see it. So now we're going to attempt to take this piece and slide it over the railing. I did that on the other side. It wasn't easy. I had to do a couple of times. If you've a friend or a partner, we a good idea to use them at this point. But I was able to manage it. So let's see if I can get this to do the same thing. See, I 
dropped it again. So noticed these, uh, I believe there are vents for air inside the car. It would be a good idea to take these off too. So that's what I'm doing. They're easy to bring them out. I'm pulling out the bumper, but once you have the bumper out, you want to try to put it in. It's just going to give you trouble. So I detached these from the bumper right here. Um, I wish I had done that earlier, but hey, I was learning, so now that you don't have to. So when you take in these big bolts off, make sure you take this guys off too. So you don't have to have trouble pushing them back. So after detaching those air vents, I'm pushing the bark, uh, bumper on the, I push the bumper on the right side, the, pass, uh, the driver's side. And I'm pushing on the passenger side, so it's almost there. And there, I think it's done. Looks like how it's supposed to be. I'm gonna mess around and see if everything is in place. So what I've done so far is uh, attach the well screws. Let's go below here. Um, and now I'm attaching the, the vent onto the grill. Okay. So they're good. Next thing to do is put these grills back on. And then you're pretty much good to go. Hopefully, you save your rivets. Thank <laughs> you. 